Hey everyone, this is Rick. One of the most common questions I get is um, how to get ink off of a comic book cover. And usually it's ballpoint pen. Uh, sometimes it's date stamps. And sometimes people see me do it and it looks really easy and maybe it's easy, maybe it isn't. It's hard to tell without doing some testing. And so I'm gonna give you little tips of what I do, but I'm gonna show you an example. Typically I start with water, then I move to MacuClean, and then I move to isopropanol toluene, uh, uh, naphthalene or naphtha, other solvents that increasingly less or more polar, just depending on what the ink is. And you sort of learn after a while what's, what's what. If you have an FTIR or you can do other microscopy, you can sometimes tell or you get a feel for what the ink does. Like black ballpoint ink from the 60s, usually it's a no-go. From the 70s, <clears throat> maybe you can do it. So what I'm gonna do today is I'm gonna take some red ink on an orange background of Amazing Spider-Man 160. So I'm gonna to try to remove it just using a Mackie Clean. I don't expect it to work out well. In fact, I expect it to, you know, uh, you know, takes all by taking I I by what I what I mean by that is if by taking the red ink off, I expect the ink underneath it to also come up true. I can always get the ink off, it's just a matter of whether you leave the ink below it. On and in this case, uh, red on red, or in this case red on orange is just it's almost never a no-go. So I'm gonna take it off and then just show you what it looks like. Like what's this process look like in detail? What can you expect to do and to see? And whether it's a positive or negative outcome, um, we can take a look together and, and um, you know, it's okay. So we got, I got tons of copies of this book. We're gonna, we're gonna try it out and just go through the process together and get a typical result. Um, not a, you know, not a magical super result. We'll just, we'll see what we see. Uh, even though we have a low probability of success. Uh, I hope you enjoy. I hope it, it does you some good and, and teaches you what to avoid and, and what to look for. All right, take care. All right, bye-bye. All right, so we have this Amazing Spider-Man 162, which I would have put at like a 7.5, maybe an 8. About this, maybe it's tour stamp on there or something? I don't know. And there's some on the back as well. I'm going to uh, gonna try to use a little Immaculine here and... We will see what happens. I'm going to start with just sort of gross cleaning. Not really nothing too detailed. Just I'm going to take regular solution of 3 milliliters and 190 milliliters of Mackey Clean, and we're just going to see what happens here. I don't really know what's going to happen. It depends on what this ink is made out of. And I'm just going to start and dab some on there. Let it soak for a few seconds. And then uh, I'm just gonna kind of wipe it a little. It's not really coming off. Nope, not having much luck there. So I'm just gonna push down the sides of this thing, get a little Mackie clean on the Q-tip. Get a little bit of a Q-tip wipe. See if we can get any of this to come up. And the answer is no, it appears. I would get a new tip. Apparently that one was used before, so I'm gonna get a here. Just gonna get a bit of a Kim wipe and wipe this a little. This one is not apparently immaculate soluble. Well, that's okay. Oh no, it's coming up a little, actually. So I'm just gonna do this very slowly. I'm not, you know, we're not gonna be in a hurry here. And I'm just gonna do this for a little bit. And you can see that there's some red coming up on this swab. So we're gonna do that for a little while, see what comes up. And we will, we'll come back in a little bit. So we're just letting some of this soak in here and we're gonna roll, not rub, but roll these Q-tips here and see if it picks up any of that red the book. It's not really doing it. A little bit maybe. But this is, like I always say, a game of inches and not miles. So we're just going to roll that. And then we're going to let the MacuClean solution dry and we'll try again. There is just the smallest bit of 
can't really see, it's not focusing on this, but there's some red coming up on the swab and we're just going to keep doing that for a while and see what happens. So I've been at this around 45 minutes and you can see these swabs are getting some red ink up on them. You know, the tips too, especially. And that's just it. I mean, all I'm really doing is putting a little of the vacuum clean. I'm, you know, touching here and then I just sort of roll. You know, you don't want to rub. You'll rub a hole in the paper. So the trick is to keep a little light pressure and then just you sort of roll this. And I'll let it dry quite a bit in between so that I'm not, you know, wet paper is, say it with me, boys and girls, weak paper. And so we don't want to rub or even roll. And I can, I'm losing a little bit of orange here. But that's okay. Even if these were blank white, it's better than if there's a red mark on it, right? If it's counting off or something. So this is, um, it's coming up. You know, as I do this, I sort of put a little more clean on there with my swab. So I just push down on the top, get a little bowl of the stuff here, and I just sort of like dab it. And then I come back in a minute. And I will just sort of roll swab on there like this. And it's picking it up. It's, you know, the idea of getting just all the red out and none of the other colors being faded is, you know, a dream. It's not going to happen usually, but it would be a nice goal. But it's less stark, right? It's less, it has more what I call curb appeal when they can't see the letters so clearly. And it's, you know, a little bit of this orange is, of course, coming out because it's a red ink on an orange ink. So, But it, I think it's starting to look better. We'll just keep doing this for a while and we will see what happens. Well, as we expected, it the red ink is largely gone and, you know, we overdid it because look at that. And you can even see where some of it, if you look here, came away these little rings that sort of floated away and you know there was no happy ending for this book it was never going to be you know with no red ink and only the orange ink remaining at least in my experience and this is the kind of stuff you can expect right should i have stopped a little bit earlier yeah probably i don't know can i can i get all of that out and make it just white under it yeah i can what's the best solution i don't really know you know maybe Leaving it new is, you know, without touching it's the best solution, but maybe this is, I don't really know. Um, this back ink here is probably similar stuff. You know, we can play with that too, but the book is wasn't going anywhere anyway, right? It wasn't, this book wasn't going to be of particularly high value, and the ink was distracting from that grade at all, but this is, um, that's what, this is, the, this is telling you the kind of, Things you can expect for ink removal. It's seldom a slam dunk. Actually, I got a surprising amount of that purple off already, but um, this one's probably gonna have better luck because of the black and white. It's a difference of color mismatch. So yeah, that one actually looks pretty good. Um, anyway, that's that for uh, what you can expect for ink. Well, folks, that's a little bit of what you can expect when you try to remove ink yourself. So if you want to try it, um, that's the kind of things you might might expect to see. Sometimes it comes off easy, sometimes not at all. Um, that's just an example. I oh, hope you enjoyed it. Take care. Bye-bye.